electric energy is very useful to us and that's because we can easily convert electric energy into other forms of energy for example thermal energy light energy and mechanical energy now let's look at a few examples a few devices that convert electrical energy into other forms of energy for example in example one we see that motors that are found in automobiles or cars convert electrical energy into mechanical energy and that's exactly what allows our automobiles to move from some point X to another point Y. Let's look at example number two. Things or devices such as electric heaters and light bulbs which are resistors convert electric energy into thermal energy as well as light energy. So let's zoom in on the following circuit. Suppose we look at our light bulbs. Suppose we put our light bulb into an electric circuit that has a battery. And that means when electrons flow from our anode through our light bulb to our cathode, this movement of electrons will create electric energy. And this electric energy will be transformed into other forms of energy. So when the electrons move through our light bulb, they move through the filament found in our light bulb and that filament increases kinetic energy and that increase in kinetic energy allows our filament to release light or energy in the form of light and that's exactly what allows our light bulb to glow. Now note that only about 10% of the electric energy is actually converted to light energy. About 90% of the other electric energy is converted to thermal energy or heat. And that's exactly why when we put our hand next to our light bulb, we feel an increase in temperature. Because an increase in thermal energy means there's an increase in kinetic energy of the molecules found around our light bulb and an increase in kinetic energy means there's an increase in temperature because kinetic energy is directly related to temperature. Now let's talk about power. Let's talk about power in terms of electric energy. So power in itself is simply energy or change in energy divided by change in time. So du or a very very tiny change in energy over dt, a very very tiny change in time is equal to. Now recall what our energy or electrical energy is when we talk about charge or when we talk about voltage. Now we saw from another lecture that our change or our energy is equal to Q times V. In other words, whenever we have a voltage and whenever we have a charge, we have energy and our energy is given or electric energy is given by electric energy equals Q times voltage. Now, remember this statement is analogous to the gravitational energy. In other words, gravitational energy or energy in a gravitational field is given by energy is equal to MGH. Now this is an analogous statement to that. So if we take this guy and we plug it into our U, we get dQ or a very small change in Q divided by a very small change in T multiplied by our voltage. And remember, dQ over dT is simply the change in charge over the change in time. And that's simply our current or flow of electrons. So we replace this guy with I and we get that our power or electric power for any form of device is given by I times V. Now whenever we talk about resistors such as for example light bulbs we can use also the following two equations. Remember when we talk about circuits and resistors we know that voltage equals IR. This is simply Ohm's law. So if we plug in this V into this V we get P equals IV times I squared R, right? Because if we plug in this IR into this V, I squared, and we get I squared times R. Now, if we rearrange Ohm's law and plug in our uh, V over R into our I, we get P equals IV equals V squared over R. Now, these two equations and this equation are analogous, but these two equations can only be used for devices such as resistors, while this guy can be used for any sort of device, including our resistors. Now note that the units of power are watts, and these are given in joules over second.